Okay, sixth grade, let's do some uh, customary weight and capacity and customary units. 7.6, page 373 in your book. So let me get my board going here. 373. Okay, key vocabulary, lots of vocabulary in here. It is um, going along. Um, and there's some benchmarks, there's different things, so I'm just going to kind of write the abbreviation, abbreviations for each of these. Ounce, there are 16 ounces in one pound, and pound is abbreviated LB. Okay, so we have LB for pound. We have tons, ton is a capital T. There are 2,000 pounds in one ton. Okay, and the benchmark. We have to use benchmarks. The benchmarks for, for an ounce is a slice of bread. So about the size of a slice of bread, if you were hold that in your hand, that tells you what an ounce is. A pound is about the size of a soccer ball. Okay, and a ton is about the size of a car, like a compact car, not a big truck or anything. A compact car. All right, fluid ounce is um, fluid ounces in capacity uh, it is FL fluid ounce there are eight fluid ounces in one cup cup is abbreviated as a C okay there are two cups in one pint pint is PT and they show you some pictures in the book um, a pint is like um, or a cup almost is a little bit like what you guys drink at school. It's almost a pint, really, I think. And then you have quarts. There are two pints in one quart. Quart is QT. There are four quarts in one gallon. Okay, and I have trouble with the, the pints and the quarts. I don't use those as much as far as remembering the size of those, so... Let's go through and do some stuff. Copy and complete the statement using the appropriate customary unit. An apple weighs what? Weight is, it's either going to be ounces, pounds, or tons. Well, obviously it's not tons, and I doubt whether it's going to weigh pounds. So we're going to say six and a half ounces. A laptop computer probably weighs more than six slices of bread. Doesn't weigh as much as six compact cars, so we're going to say six soccer balls, which is pounds. Choose the appropriate customary unit to measure the weight. So a golf ball, I think we'll call that, I say ounces. A blue whale, ooh, tons. Bicycle, we'll do that in pounds. Okay, so choose an appropriate customary unit to measure the capacity. Now capacity, those are our fluid ounces, cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. So a large mug, I would say is... It says a large mug holds about as much as a pint-sized milk carton does, like what you drink at school, okay? So um, I could, you know, I think I would take, if you said it, cups for that, or ounces, cups, ounces, and you could even say pint. A water cooler, you know, it, I would say a water cooler is probably going to be measured in gallons. Um, I wouldn't probably measure it in much smaller than that. What does each me measurement describe about an empty glass aquarium? 55 gallons. 55 gallons would be about as much, uh, I would say as much water that that aquarium could hold would be 55 gallons is how much you could put in there. Okay. 45 pounds, that would be how much the aquarium weighs. If you were to pick it up and carry it around, that would be how much it would weigh. Choose the appropriate customary unit to measure the capacity. So a tea kettle, well, I think we could put more than an ounce in a tea kettle. We could probably put more than uh, what you guys drink, you know, in a cup, uh, a thing at home. I would say it's either quarts or maybe even a gallon. Let's see what they said. Ooh, they said a pint. Uh, you know, it depends, I guess. It de totally, see, everybody's got a different take on it. A juice glass, I'm going to call it in ounces or cups. I would take either one. A swimming pool. Um, gallons, because there's lots of water in a swimming pool. Tell whether the measurement is weight or capacity. Quart is, 
capacity. That's how much something can hold. Ton is weight. Weighs a ton. Pound is weight. And, wow. That can't be it. Oh, we have some more. Let's go back. Sorry. No, I want to go back. Oh, it's, I guess it's just going to be right here. Um, we're example number three. It's about a boat safety. Okay. And um, it wants you to put them in order. Something about putting them in order. Um, the average weight. Carlos and five other adults go to a lake. They want to take a motorboat to the other side of the lake, but the boat has a weight limit. Carlos wants to know if he and his five friends can safely cross the lake in one trip. Arrange the following problem-solving steps in order to determine whether he and his friends can safely cross the lake. So compare the six adults' weight with the boat's weight limit. Estimate the average weight of an adult. Multiply by six. I would do first you're going to estimate their weight, which is step Y. Then I would multiply. Then I would compare. So I'm going to say D for that one. If you're watching, this is example four. Sorry, page 375. Um, now the guided practice. Bird. Sue has a, a gallon of hummingbird syrup and wants to fill 20 feeders. Write the steps to determine if she has enough syrup. I would guesstimate about how big each feeder is, and then I would divide how much I have by how many feeders I have, and then see if it's enough. Okay, that was it. Number 10 on the guided practice. So um, go through. It looks like this might be pretty easy to put down the the right measurements, and we will um, see you next time.